According to the Holy Bible, in the book of Genesis, after 40 days and 40 nights of the flooding of the earth, Noah's Ark rested and landed on Mount Ararat, a region in Armenia. And also, did you know that in 301 AD, Armenia was the very first nation to officially accept Christianity as their religion? Centuries later, in 1915, the Armenian Genocide occurred, where 1.5 million Armenians were murdered and brutally martyred for their Christian faith at the hands of the Ottoman Empire. And recently, in 2020, a heartbreaking state of events has currently unfolded for the Armenian people surrounding their territory of Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh. We've invited Jacqueline Tadevosian, a talented, Jesus-loving singer-songwriter from Armenia who has a heart of worship to help us shed light on what is currently unraveling. And please join us as we seek to impart words of hope and healing and the importance of worship and staying united as one in Christ Jesus during these trying times. Savior, you're all I, Savior, you're all I. Welcome to the Elena Natalia Show. We're your twin hosts. I'm Elena Maranian. And I'm Natalia Maranian. Being half Armenian, yes. we feel extremely blessed to have such a beautiful and biblical treasure and heritage. And today we have a lovely guest on the show who is going to express what it feels to be Armenian, what it means to be Armenian. And we're going to discuss all the biblical heritages, what is currently going on in the land of Artsakh and the Armenian people, and just bring hope, healing, and unity into this picture. And being that we are half Armenian, yes. as Elena said, I want to take a minute to welcome and greet our Armenian viewers. Sireli Tidorned, Shamersi Vod Gnaikor, Elena Natalia Programa, Yevar Uzek for Tukmer Bakama, Met Serdov Lassel. Yevmer guest, I saw Jacqueline Tadevos. Our guest today is Jacqueline Tadevosian, like Elena said, a young woman who sings about the Lord and for the Lord, and she truly has a heart of worship, and we're thrilled and honored to have her all the way from Yerevan, Armenia, on the Elena and Natalia show. So please welcome our guest, Jacqueline Thank Tadevosian. You. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here, girls. You know, we are even happier. Yes. You know? Oh, thank yes. you our so honor. much. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's, um, it's going to be my first time uh -huh. to we'll speak English. It's You're kind of hard. Me You're doing about it. amazing. But um, I know like God is with us. Amen. It gives me. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so we can talk. Thank you for speaking in English yes. with yeah, us because your English has improved dramatically <laughs> so and much. you're doing so well. If we even <laughs> try to you. speak Armenian, maybe we Thank could, you. but I know. it's okay if you want to express in Armenian, sure, we'll sure. help translate. It's a conversational yeah. program and being that we're all Arme you're full Armenian yes, from Yerevan, full. born so and raised. Grandma, yes. actually I have yeah. roots in Greece. Wow. Oh wow! So, yeah. Can you speak a couple Greek words? No, I ha I know only <laughs> yeah, roots and <laughs> roots. I, I can speak. My name Elena is Greek. I'm not Greek, so her name Elena. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Greek. Oh, my my name is a French name, and I'm not. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> my name's a Russian <laughs> name. We're not <laughs> Russian, not Talia <laughs> French. We're all international. Actually, exactly. <laughs> yes, so in my yes. grandmother, she's um, she's from Greece, but um, only thing I know is like couple sayings, songs. Yeah. Uh, so this is all oh, I know. Good. But we all know Armenian. <laughs> I you know. Speak, right? So how about for our viewers who don't know Armenian, let's say a few words in Armenian. Yeah. Okay. Jesus yeah. loves you. I don't know. I Jesus know. loves you. It's like, Jesus siru mekes. Wow. Jesus siru mekes. Jacqueline, camera nerun ase vor Jesus shak kasine merti do. Jesus shat siru mezes yura kanchurit of himan na yuma shon. Եվ գիտեմ, որ ասված մեծ օրդնություններ է պատրաստել ձեզ համար ու համոզված եմ, որ այս տարին ինչքան էլ, որ դժվարություններ ունեցավ, ունենալու է նաև մեծ օրդնություններ ձեր կյանքում. Amen. Amen. She basically said that yeah. Jesus loves you all so much and whatever troubles yeah. that are... Because 2020 yes, is like... 2020 has yeah. brought, yeah. which has brought a lot, <laughs> starting with, but you know, the sure coronavirus. That, yeah. <laughs> I say corona no more in Jesus' yeah. name. We're not going yeah. into the near with corona yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. yeah. I'm so happy that I'm here. Yeah. I feel like 100%. I'm home. I don't yeah. feel this you camera. I don't feel nothing. Like, you welcome home, honey. <laughs> <laughs> We're just together yes. and I'm so yes, happy. Yes, and we have to visit Armenia. Yeah. 
you know, we're, you have to. we're sad to say we haven't visited Armenia yet, but one day soon, I know we're going to go to the first Christian nation. Yeah. Yes. It's and beautiful. there is a lot of story what I can tell you. Yeah. Actually, about Artsakh, you want to tell. Yes, you know, this first thing I want to say about Artsakh to, to, uh, to tell you how uh, important is mm -hmm. Artsakh for us. It's not because it's our land, but our first Armenian church is yes. built on Artsakh wow. in 5th. I didn't know that. 5th yeah, century. Yeah, 5th century. Wow. The second thing, we know about Noah. Yes. And yes. we know uh, that story. It's Noah's Ararat. Ararat. You know, it's Ararat and Ararat was our mountain. Armenian. Yeah, Armenian mountain. So we Beautiful. are so faithful to God. And we love, love the Armenian people. Yes. One for their faithfulness. One for yes. their generosity. Our father's full Armenian and he's one of the most generous human beings we know. They're yes. so hospitable. Yes. They open their homes. They feed you. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I love that. And on set culture. today we have the Some Armenian symbols. colors. Yes. We have the Garmir Gabuy, Naran Chakwin. And I like this Noors here. Yeah, the red, like... blue and orange for the Armenian yes. flag. And like she said, we have yes. the Noors over here. Noor. And yeah. Jacqueline, um, the Noor, we know, is the traditional or the symbolic fruit noor. for Armenian. The Noor pomegranate. This is a yeah. real one. <laughs> yeah. Real life, I brought it. <laughs> yeah. And you mentioned something interesting yes. about the Noor. Yes. Yeah. Even if Noor is bigger or it's, pomegranate. Or it's more, yeah, we say Noor. <laughs> uh, it has inside... 365 wow. seeds. Or, yeah, yeah. seeds. Or, six. or 66. I remember. But anyways, so even if it's, if it's bigger, yeah, or it's small. smaller. So They all have 365 seeds to represent, represent every yes, day yes, of the yes, year. Yes, yes, every day of the year. And that also I heard life. the red represents the blood of Jesus that, you know, covers us and the Armenian people. And Noor is obviously red with the seeds. Oh, so. yeah. And we also have a Bible here on set. And... That's um, the Armenian yeah, it's Bible. Armenian. It's like it's wood? Yes, it's wooden wow. Bible that we brought from home. And yeah. oh. all the letters are inscripted in gold. Oh, so nice. And so in Armenian, I it's called Asfazashunch. Asfazashunch. Which is called the, the breath of the God. God. Yeah. Wow. The breath yeah. of God. That's and so, so powerful. Asfazashunch. Yes. So we are believing that yes. God's breath, breath, the breath of life is going to be. Hisusi Shuncha. Hisusi Shuncha. Hayastani Vara. Amen. So, Mimorna Kasi. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Special word for the Armenians in our broken English. In Armenian. <laughs> we did go to an Armenian yes, school. Yeah. A lot of people don't for know. For 10 this. years, and we learned how to read, write, and speak Armenian. Not a lot From of kindergarten to oh, Uttar, eighth really grade. Uh, I'm so proud to see Aww. the people like you. So here I can see more. Yes. Because, like, Los Angeles, Glendale. Yeah. It's, it's about <laughs> little Ar 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 Glendale is known to be little Armenia. I don't represent. feel that I'm, I'm far from Armenia. <laughs> exactly. You know, sometimes I'm home. You're visiting home. So that's. That's beautiful. I just love that we have such a beautiful, rich biblical heritage and we yeah. get to honor that and just take pride in Jesus Christ, yes, boast in amen. the Lord, not yeah. even in our identity as being Armenians. Yes, it's beautiful to be an Armenian, but we boast yeah. only in the Lord, as it amen. says in the Bible. I think not everyone knows that um, our country is the first Christian country who's accept yes, Christianity yes. like... Um, oh. As the official religion. Yeah, yeah. As the official religion. 301 AD. Yeah. So that's why I'm so, so, so yeah. happy and so blessed to be Armenian. Your father, Pastor Tigran Dadevosyan yes. of New Generation Church in Armenia. Yes, exactly. He's very close yeah. friends with our father. And yeah. you are on our network, ICFN, and singing and praising the Lord on prayer hour. Oh, but we're honored to have you here yeah. as and our guest. Your precious so, mother so is the late Haigui Babayan. Yes, yeah, she and was a singer wow, too. Now she's blessing. in heaven. Yeah. She's with singing a Singing for the Lord. Yeah. But And the uh, blessing what I have to worship God, it's I'm so... So sure, it came from her. Amen. Yeah. So sometimes I'm I'm looking to myself and I say, okay, I can see the answer of the prayers, my mm. mom. Wow. Yeah, and I'm so so happy and I'm so thankful to God that I'm born not only in Arme Armenia but my family are Christian and born again Christian families. Did you always have that personal relationship with the Lord? What's your testimony? Um, until I was 18 years old. 18? So, 18. Yes, yeah. 18 years old. So always I was uh, thinking that I'm a Christian. Mm. Yeah, I know who's Jesus. 
But you know, I was 18 and one time, or actually I was 19, I remember my mom, she was sick mm -hmm. and yeah. it was in German. Um, and I was and I was praying that day and I said, Jesus, the only thing I want to know, mm. it's like really who you are because you look, it looks like Jesus was my family's God, you know, my father's mm -hmm. God, not, mm. not personal mine because yeah. I was so small girl and I yeah. didn't understand exactly nothing. So, and I started to pray and I said, I really want to see that you're my God, my mm -hmm. Jesus, my Christ. And I said, the only thing I want, please hug me. Oh. <laughs> I never heard, say, I've never I heard anyone to, say yeah, that. Yeah, please. Ah. I, the, the only thing, because I was so alone, my family was far from me, and we have some kind of problem in our church because, and um, it was yeah. crazy here. And I say, the only thing I want, just to mm. feel your arms, just please hug me. And I don't know, it's my emotion, mm. or it's really happened, and mm -hmm. I believe it's really happened. Amen. I feel God's shoulders that hold me. Wow. And, then I, and I, then I wrote the song, my first song, uh, it's That's one of this my song. favorites. Yeah, 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 mine too. That was your first song? Yeah, so that, was that was my first song, what I recorded and I put to YouTube. Okay. Because before that, I have some songs. Mm -hmm. but not... mm -hmm. I hold you closely, Jesus. Yes. I wish I can. So that's the meaning behind it. Yeah. Wow. And the, then, and after that day, I really give my God all my life. And mm -hmm. I said, okay, if he gives me a voice, I have to sing only for you, wow. only about you. And actually, when I was 17, so um, I was 17, then I had a producer mm -hmm. until I was 20. Yeah. And we we started to make some professional things, you mm -hmm. know, together. Yeah. Uh, that time I was dreamed to be a star, to be famous. Mm. But after the day, but after my mom's mm. dad, and after everything is happening in my life, I understand, no, I don't want it. So this is not me. Wow. The only thing I want is to sing about mm. and for God, nothing wow. more. It's interesting, the passing of your mother didn't draw you away from the Lord, yes. it draw you closer, you yeah. ran yeah. to God. Actually, I was praying for that. I remembered my mom's last day when she was alive. I and she passed away of, was it cancer? Yeah, she, she had cancer. cancer. And um, two things I want to say about this. First thing, I, I remember clearly this day, I was in our home and she was in her room. There was a lot of doctors, my family, mm. my aunt, so much people. Yeah. And I start to understand this is the last minute. This is oh. her last minute, so I feel it. And I remember I closed myself in my yeah. bedroom and I start to cry and I say, Jesus, only thing I want to ask you, please don't break my heart. Don't break my heart. Don't break my heart. Yes, Mikotri, because I want to continue to love you. Mm -hmm. I want to continue to trust you. So I don't want to cut our relationship because of this. So this is was the second, uh, first thing. And second thing, what I feel after that, I still believe that cancer can be healed. Amen. So Amen. It's, yes. it's never bring me far from miracles. So Amen. I still Amen. believe and because I don't want to mix, you know, everybody has their life, mm. their yes. own story. So we don't have to mix. Oh, if, Haiku Hishi was a pastor's mm -hmm. wife. If she dead, that mm -hmm. means there is no way to be healed. Mm -hmm. There is no way to receive mm -hmm. miracles. So this wow. is the only thing I want to say to everyone who believe that they can see miracles. I believe with you too. Mm -hmm. So there is, a, I'm 100% sure our God's hands never can be short. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is miracles what, still happen. Miracles still yes. happen, yeah. whether on earth or in heaven, yes. that God is performing miracles. Yes. And I believe exactly. your mother is so proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. She's oh, your angel you. looking down on you, you. And, you. You. and you keep on singing for the Lord. Yeah. Bolores uneng spier. Verker varons masin la rumeng. Varons masin joselis amachum, huzvum, kam vachenumeng. Sakan yura kan churis pat mutsuna. Ansat shana paru spin. Ases mi pukrik ast gayer kankum. Varok numelu savorel inch formeki mut shana para. Pat melov ko pat mutsuna. Tsuts talov ko spin. Dunovidumes inch formekin ko lampa. 
քո կողունացույց նու քո քարտեզը, որ ճանաչի հանդիպող դարու փոսերը ու շրջանցի դրանք։ Եթե սիրում ես մարդկանց, չես կարող լրել, եթե սիրում ես չես կարող թակցնել քո սպին, եթե սիրում ես չես կարող չասել, որ լսիր, գուցե իմ ու քո դժվարությունները տարբեր են, սակայն իմ ու քո ելքը նույն է, մեկն է, ու միայն նա է, նա, ում համար չկա անհնարին ոչ ինչ, նա, ով ամենա տես է, ու տեսնում է ծանկացած լաբիրինդի ելք, նա, ում ուսալով միայն կյանք կգտնես, կյանք և ավելիով, նրա անունը Հիսուս է։ I have to say, it's rare to find people who truly have a heart of worship. Yeah. In one of your other interviews, I believe you were saying there's a lot of people who dream to be musicians. Yeah. But my only, yeah, I'd yeah, have yeah. you share that. It touched me so much. I was about difference. What is to be like singer mm -hmm. and what is to be a worshiper, you wow. know? The only thing, it makes sense, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It depends like uh, why you want to do that. Mm -hmm. So you yes. want to give all the glory to God or you want to show yourself. Mm -hmm. You think people who are listening to you, it's uh, God's people or it's your, uh, mm -hmm. we say, auditoria. Yeah. How is yeah. that? Or the auditorium. Yeah, the auditorium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Sorry. You're doing <laughs> concerts. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about, you know, being a worship artist yes. and many people think to worship means to sing and just thinking. But yeah. you said it's all about the heart. Yes. And getting to the heart of the matter, we wouldn't be worshiping unless we were believers, unless we believe who are we worshiping. Yeah. And we worship the one yeah. true God, Jesus Christ. And so I want to hear more about, you know, um, when people say they're Armenian, they automatically think that they're born a Christian because we have such a rich yeah. Christian yeah. heritage, 301 AD, our Armenia accepted Christianity. Our ancestors our died yeah. for their yeah. faith. Yeah, 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 our yeah. ancestors were martyred exactly. for their faith. They refused to give in to you know, the Muslim religion and would rather die than give up their faith of Christianity, their they love They wouldn't deny Jesus. the Lord. And so mm -hmm. that's extremely honorable and beautiful, um, but for, some Armenians think that because they're born Armenian, they're automatically Christian. How can you share with them that it's more than really? just a religion, it's a relationship? Yes. Uh, first thing uh, I want to say that we have big tradition mm -hmm. when uh, someone's born in Armenia. Yeah. So we're doing baptism. Yeah. So yes. they're expecting that. The baby is baptized. The baby is, yeah, yeah. In water. Yeah, 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 yeah. In water. So that's why some people, they think if you're baptized, so you have it, mm. that means you're Christian. But what people, what Bible said, mm -hmm. it's not the same what people think, you yeah. know, because Bible says, so you have to understand, mm -hmm. you have to accept uh, God in your, yes. in your heart yes. and you have to speak at your mouth, like to say to prefer them, mm -hmm. accepting Jesus Christ, like my Christ, like my Savior. So, but because of these traditional things, that's why are in Armenia people thinking that way. Mm. Me, I believe this traditional thing and how how Armenian people think about this, so yeah. they are Christianity. Yeah. Even if they're wrong or even if they're right, anyways, this is the small, small faith, you know, inside yeah, them. So, yeah. but yes, yeah, so be born again, Christian. Amen. This is something different. So Abashare. for that, yeah, for that, you really have to understand. You really have to accept Jesus in your heart Amen. and you have to speak that. So mm. how Bible said, mm. and I hope that everyone will, will understand this. Mm. But, you know, sometimes it's so hard to explain it to people because yeah. religion always covering our eyes. Mm. Faith and religion, it's so different things. Yeah. Mm. And um, yeah, not not always if you're keeping religion rules, that means you have a faith. Right. So mm -hmm. we have tradition to uh, about our candles, yes. you know, yeah. about Hachagan Kvel, mm -hmm. about go to the churches. So yes, our our mm -hmm. our country and our nation really has a big faith. But yeah. some traditional things, they're not always the thing what God wants to mm -hmm. see. So it's not about traditional high made pray, mm -hmm. but it's about the pray what you have inside your heart Hard, yeah. and what you want to say to God, you mm -hmm. know. The, it have to be your own prayer. It have to be your own words. So what you really want to say to God. Mm -hmm. So this is what I think. So I think that all Armenian people, or even the people who say, I'm Christian, 
this is a big step, mm. you know, this is a big step of faith. Yeah. But to be born again Christian is something really wow. different. To be born again, someone watching, Abba Shkarel. And, Abba Shkarel, yeah. and that's how they say born again in Armenian, Abba Shkarel. Yes. That's such a beautiful concept yes. to, you know, let go of our old life and to get a totally yes. new life. Like, to accept that you ha you are a sinner, you yes, know, and amen. to accept that to God hates your sins, Sin. but he loves you. Amen. He wants to hug you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hug you, son. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so. And like you said, you have to make your own prayer with your own yes. words. And that's, I think, the difference between a religion and a relationship yes. where you're able to call dad, daddy, yes, <laughs> or father, yes. Abba, Hyde, Abba Hyde, as it says yes, in the sure. In the Bible, and like you said, and she reiterated how you said you just simply ask God for a hug. Yes. You wanted to feel his hug, his yeah. embrace. That's such a relationship. It's like a daughter asking their father, can you please hug, hug me? me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you yeah, felt yeah. that. Even if we don't ask him, I'm, I'm sure that in our every step we can feel and we can see him. Mm -hmm. So even if we don't see or even we don't ask God to hug us, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he's always there for us. Yeah. Sometimes our situations can just cover our eyes and mm. we can don't yeah. we can't see him but he's there anyways amen mm -hmm. like he's there in our sometimes like you said our situations can blind us to what is going on pain yeah. makes us numb it prevents yes. us from seeing the, the tears of cloud our eyes but it says in the yeah. bible that he is close to the brokenhearted he collects yes. all of our tears amen. in a bottle and so he's right here even when we may not feel him even when we may not see him i know he's not silent yes. This year has truly brought everyone to their knees. Some yes. devastating losses from physical sickness to emotional pain. Right. Um, you've gone through a lot as well in your life and with the loss of your mother. But we know God is bigger. She's gr yes. God is greater and he has Amen. our best in mind. One of the steps to healing, I believe, is to never stop praising. Yes. Yeah. To always continuing to thank God and to praise God. Through the good and the through bad. Through the good and the bad because it's easy. So yes. easy to be thankful when life, <laughs> life is going is, perfectly, yeah, when, when everything, everything is, is rainbows yes. and there's no sickness and yes. no disease and you have no all wars. the money in the world yes. and all the beauty and no wars and nothing. But will you still praise God when all your circumstances are unfavorable? When you go through sickness or financial yeah. trouble, will you praise God? I feel like yes. that's when that's the opportunity. There is our opportunity to really just impress God and mm -hmm, <laughs> say, God, mm -hmm, you're I am to move my, his heart to, to move touch his, his heart, heart to yes. say God here I am with my worship I may not like what is going on now but I will still praise you even through this yes. valley because I know that soon yeah. we will be together in our the mountain <laughs> and uh, we're going I would there one love day. It if you lead us into worship with another Armenian song it's called Orne Dera Ovi Mansas and it's, Psalm one, it's from Psalm 103 yes, right? yes. From Psalm 103. but okay this time you have to join me because I'll try, I'll try. Okay, I'll okay. try. It's, based, it's an Armenian song based off of Psalm 103, 103. praise the Lord my soul all my inmost being praise, praise his, his holy, holy name praise forget. the Lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all, all your sins, sins and heals all, all your, your diseases, diseases and redeems Amen. your life from the pit and crowns you with, with love Love and, and compassion. compassion. I can't promise um, I'll join, but let's see. Amen to Psalm. Uh, actually, I love this song too. Well, we do so too. Old. I, I was, we I was very girl when we were singing We used to sing it at our Armenian church. Yeah, 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 yeah. In our home. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the dead of the mansas, an orbol or barik nerem mi morna. Or ne tera of the manzas, an or bol or barik nera mi morna. Na nere le komech kere, bezushke le kotsavere, or ne tera of the manzas. Na nere le komech kere, bezushke le kotsavere, or ne tera of the manzas. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so healing. Just continue singing that. Like, 
throughout the day and meditating yeah. on it, it will just bring so much healing because it really makes us focus yeah. on the one who is worthy of our praise. I know God is with us. I believe Amen. singing worship will heal people. And yes. as we raise our voice in praise, we raise yes. our praise. It's Continue powerful. singing. Don't let worship. the enemy steal your song. Yeah. Don't let the enemy steal your praise. It's powerful yes. to worship. You know, in the Bible, it talks about David, the psalmist, and how he went through depression. He went through trials. And sometimes he was angry at God and he would express his concerns yeah, that's to God. So normal. He didn't shy it's normal. away from it. Yes, he expressed yes, how yes, he yes, felt. Yes, and God yes. isn't scared about our yes. feelings or how we feel. So whatever you're feeling, if you're going through grief, through yes. anger, through sadness, express it to God. Don't run away from him. Run towards him and you will feel his loving embrace. You will feel hugged by the Father. Just like Jacqueline yes. said in the beginning, Amen. her testimony, how she asked God, God, I really want to feel your arms around me. I really want yeah. to feel your hug around me. So if you're in desperate need of a hug, yes, it's good to have family. Yes, it's good to have someone by your side, but nothing ever compares to the hug of your father, God. So ask Amen. him for it. And we pray that you feel his loving embrace around you, that you just feel him wiping away your tears and that he is here to mend your broken heart. And he, as it says in your word, he is close to the brokenhearted. He is close to you if you are brokenhearted. So Amen. use this opportunity to draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Dear friends, thank you so much for tuning in to our special episode of the Elena and Natalia show with our special guest all the way from Yerevan, Armenia, a Jesus-loving worshiper, Jacqueline Tadevosian. Yes, and please join us next week yes. as we continue our discussion on the recent events surrounding Armenia and Artsakh and how worship and praise yes. are the keys to true healing and advancement. I feel they're just the greatest keys yes. to overcoming trials and tribulations in life. And we'd also love to hear from you if this program blessed you in any way, let us know. But before we close, yes. I'd like to continue with the Armenian theme of this show and the history. How about we conclude with a, just a beautiful poetic yes. line from Gomidas, who is the late Armenian composer and priest. Yeah. He said, the narrow path crawling shivering underneath the feet at the end of which the tree of life has grown shimmering wow, wow. let's Your keep Armenians. on shimmering yes. and shining the beautiful light of jesus christ throughout the ends of the world don't let the yes. darkness dim your light but make your light shine even brighter in the dark and continue on the narrow path yes. that leads to eternal life the tree of life yes the yes. tree of life and as sure. always please make sure to keep in touch with us at elena natalia tv on our socials and yeah. online at elena and natalia tv slash show to catch up on all of your favorite episodes yes. we love you all and god bless you until next time love and stay blessed ciao love and bless.